why is it so sad already, bro? Oh, that's right, bro. Got left on red after a one night stand. Me personally, fuck you, bitch. shut the fuck up, bitch. Now, nah, for real, that's really that's really grimy, Harris. Like, I get it, I get your situation, but come on. We follow Rudy as he's traveling with a team of adventurers into the north in order to find his mother. Even though they find it hopeless, they sympathize with the young man. This one girl, Sarah, is actually being a whole B I C T H. Yeah, I spelled it like that. You got a problem? But for real, she gotta calm down. She really wildin'. You didn't watch the first season like us. You don't understand! When they arrive, Rudy gets himself a place to stay and cuddle with Eris' hair. Jesus, dude. The next morning, he heads to the guild in order to disband his party and start fresh. Just the thought was enough to send Rudy into a panic attack. Thankfully, he has a stress-relieving toy in his pocket to calm him down. That is just a ball or something, right? The adventuring party notice him trying to go on a quest on his own, and they offer him a spot with the team. Obviously, they pity Rudy, but, you know, it just looks like a guy who's trying to keep his dream alive, like, fighting on after his team's gone. Some faithless hope, basically. Rudy reluctantly agrees, but continuously doesn't give the whole trust into them, because he definitely doesn't want to go through what he did already. Each member tries to get close, but we don't really care about y'all. I'ma keep it a stack. They carry on with the quest to kill panda bears and are doing a pretty good job, but it's a good thing Rudy was here. He sends multiple dirty ass bears on the way, and Rudy just kinda gives up, feeling like it would be better just to die. But through the power of Avengers cinematics, the team is able to convince Rudy to end it all with a fireball jutsu. They come back safe and sound, welcomed by cheers and applause, after they spent their money on drinks for everyone, I guess. Rudy now has his drive back and decides to move forward with his life. Ah, I guess he doesn't really need that stress with it. Ooh. <sighs> Roxy's panties. This what's been getting you through it all? I mean, I could understand if it was miracles, but like, you don't wanna try like, you know, getting like a hobby or something? You know what, just burn Aaron's hair, bro. It's a pretty standard episode. I don't really have much to say about it, to be honest. But it was good, I enjoyed it. It was good to see Rudy like, get back on his feet. You know, after that last season, man, man was defeated. You, you couldn't see a speck of hope in his eyes. So seeing him get a little bit more energy back, I messed with it. Now I gotta watch the next episode. I wish we could see it together. But as the title says, these are my first thoughts. And I'll see you in the end. Love y'all. Take it easy. Peace. Sorry, I was bourbon.